Talk about what the difference is on facing a team. You know, the, you play league games all season, and now suddenly get in the middle of this. Does it change the outlook? Or um, I'm personally just really excited. I think it's more um, helpful for us um, to face a team that we could see in postseason rather than midweeks, where we kind of see a little lower level teams. Um, so I'm excited. I'd much rather play a really highly intense series than um, like a midweek doubleheader. Just tying the record, how big of an honor is it and just how excited are you to be able to accomplish that? I'm really excited. I feel really honored that, uh, you know, despite the injuries, they weren't season ending and that I can get back on the field. Um, just a nice moment looking back on my last three and a half years. Um, just really excited that I could help the program in this way. Mike talked about it. How do you feel personally that you've progressed over these last few years since you've been here? Um, I'm just incredibly thankful for this coaching staff and the athletes that I've been around on my team and off my team that have really just helped me grow as a player. Um, going from just focused on, you know, my performance to like this year, I don't know what I'm hitting it and it's more about the team and I just think that that's helped me grow as an athlete but also as a person. So. You don't know what you're hitting mean or in the order? Um, average wise. Oh, okay. What, um, so how do you, have you improved on your hitting over the, even though your coach said you're very consistent since your freshman year, what, how do you think you've improved in your hitting? Um, I think, you know, my focus level throughout, uh, a full game. Sometimes it's hard to just keep that focus at the end of a series or at the end of a game. Um, I think just learning how to hit different pitches more consistently. Um, obviously, my speed has helped me with getting on base, but um, learning how to hit the ball better as a hitter um, as opposed to slapping most of the time early in my career. So I think that person just taking it in make sure was focused on I've got a few more. Uh, so, what uh, what was your first love in sports? My first love in sports was base running, probably. Um, I mean, sports period. Was it, was it softball? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I played soccer for a couple of years, but I hated it because it was so too much running. <laughs> um, but yeah, softball for sure. Okay, and then uh, when did you get the offer here? Um, I committed here G January of my junior year in high school. Okay, so what, who, whose heart did you break? Who else wanted um, you really bad? I wasn't really heavily recruited in high school, honestly. It was um, Purdue and the University of Illinois urbana Champaign, um, which aren't as competitive softball-wise, so when Oregon came into the picture, I was pretty set on it. So you're in Southern California, mm -hmm. and no teams down there were even... Yeah, I just, I was really, really skinny in high school, and... Uh, you're so, you're so old right now, I know. <laughs> so buff now, but um, I was more, like, I like to put it frail looking, um, so yeah. a lot of teams just but weren't that interested in my so body. Was it Coach White himself, or who was it that kind of... Actually, Coach Alistair was the first one to um, recruit me because of my speed um, freshman year in high school when she was coaching at Stanford, actually. And then uh, when she got the coaching job here, she I think she kind of really planted the seed. What's been your biggest highlight so far of your career? I'm doing a senior spotlight on you. Okay. okay. So yeah, of your career, kinda, um, weird including any of the years, but so far, <laughs> personal highlight, not team at this point. <laughs> uh, personal <laughs> highlight. Game or I think um, one of the most exciting moments was my freshman year at Super Regionals. I was the number nine hitter and I had not performed that well in the second game of the series and um, we needed to win that game it was tied and so Coach White was basically said it doesn't matter what you've done this whole game I just need you to get on base and so I just tapped the ball and play got on base stole second stole third and then sack fly I scored um, Who's that against? Texas I think it was the winning run um, so that that was just exciting for me being a freshman and having Having, like that role in such a big game, um, that's just really stuck with me. The presents, right there, All right, and, and uh, how far do you think you can go this year? You think the team's as strong as ever? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Um, our goal is to win a national championship, so obviously we start with the next game.
the very next game. Uh, we don't yeah. we don't really like to look ahead, but our ultimate goal is to win a national championship. We won't tell your opponent, but what's the toughest pitch to hit, and what's the what's the pitch you like? I mean, most people say right down the middle, <laughs> waist high, but I don't know. Maybe you like another pitch, but what one is the hardest pitch to hit? It, it's kind of weird because throughout my career, I've gone through different pitches that I've that hit better than others and I really like my whole thing is I just really want to be a consistent hitter so whatever I'm like not as strong at I just like I don't know I find a way to hit it whether it be slapping or bunting it like if I'm expecting a certain pitch so I don't really know like I I like outside and I like inside, but I mean, sometimes I don't hit inside as well, I guess. But I mean, a good rise ball is going to get you yeah, almost every time. That's why we like having Shear on our team. It's hard to lay off the rise. Yeah, and a good rise ball, like a lot of people's rise balls just gradually go up, but ones that cut up when you think it looks good and it just cuts up, like Sheridan and Dallas Acevedo probably have the best rise balls that I've faced. So, I just, that's so you got drafted now. Like what, what team was it? It's Dallas Charge. Yeah, no problem. So that's that's your future, huh? Um, yeah. I'm gonna play with Team USA this summer. Um, I just think that's a huge honor. So I really want to experience that before I enter into the pro league.